So all of my Battle Core carded figures are just hanging up on pegs. I don't have them in any cases or anything because we didn't really... Uh, no one seemed to know of a uh, of a Starcase-like product or a clamshell or anything that would fit the 6x10 carded figure. And I ended up contacting Zolo World and they suggested a case and said that they use these for the Battle Core carded figures. I got the case in today. Um, it was a little bit expensive to order just one case, but I didn't want to order a bunch of them in case it doesn't work. If it doesn't fit, I don't want to be stuck with a bunch of cases that I can't use for anything. Uh, I think shipped, it was like 12 bucks. The case was five, and it cost more for shipping than what the, co the, than what the case actually cost itself. Uh, this is a very heavy duty case. This thing has got some uh, some meat to it. It's it's weighty. The locking lugs look to be very uh, very stout, very well formed. Check that out. This is a really nice uh, figure display case, and I think that they're actually using these for a uh, Masters of the Universe uh, figures. I'm not sure what series. I don't collect those. I'm sure that you heard the nice solid pop. This is a very thick, acid-free uh, plastic material. Put it back together here. Yeah, this is a really, really nice uh, Starcase-like uh, protective display case. And they claim that it has a... Uh, their card flattening uh, design or or whatever. So you have the figure bubble and then your card is going to be up in this section. So the regular uh, G.I. Joes are carded on a 6x9 card and the Battle Core figures are carded on a 6x10 card. So we're going to get the I think that's V2 Heat Viper from uh, 1992. And we're going to see if he fits in this case. Let's be hopeful, because we may have found a solution to this problem. Okay, so right off the bat, I'll tell you the figure fits a little bit loose. There's a little bit of side-to-side -side movement, but it does capture all the edges of the card, including the bottom edge. So that's actually a really great design then. And then you have the top of the card, of course, that's going to be up in this section. We've got about, uh, let's see exactly how much space we have here. We've got about an inch, an inch and three quarters, roughly, of space left up here. So... And I do like the Battle Core carded figures a lot. Yeah, this has plenty of uh, plenty of material here on the sides to capture the edges of the card and keep it from falling into the bubble. Snaps into place with a nice positive lockup. That's not moving. This figure is not moving at all. I don't think we're really going to find too many that aren't going to fit inside this bubble. But this is a uh, this is a solution for the Battle Core carded figures. And if you'll give me just a moment here, I will tell you what the um, item number is for this. I will post a link to Zolo World in the description. I'll actually post a link to this product. Uh, this definitely works for the Battle Core carded figures. I'm really stoked about this. Finally, a, uh, a way to keep these cards nice and safe and protected and it even has the hang tab up here so um, yeah it kind of sucks that it's you know almost uh, you know almost two inches taller than the card but there's still this nice section right here that completely encapsulates that card these are really, really, really nice cases. They're uh, they're very sturdy, very thick. Uh, some of the Protect Star cases that I bought before, especially some of the new ones, the Star Case Five that fit the uh, 
uh, POC and uh, forward uh, figures. Uh, those things are very flimsy in some cases, and there's actually a few of them I had that uh, the, the back cover didn't really want to hold in place because the locking lugs weren't necessarily formed to the degree that, uh, that they really should have been. But, man, I'm telling you, the locking lugs on this, on this Zolo case, check that out. I mean, these things are, they're, they're really, really solid form. Um, any other comments I can think of? It's not necessarily the, uh, on the, on the figure bubble down here, it's not the clearest, but up here it's, I mean, this thing's crystal clear for the most part overall. Um, you know, this could be something from forming, or it could be from uh, packaging or whatever. If it was in a plastic bag, I'll uh, I'll take this apart. And I'm actually I'm actually gonna store a different figure in this case, but I'll definitely be ordering more of these. They're like five bucks a piece, but uh, if you want to protect your carded figures, these are definitely worth it. These Battle Core carded figures are going up in price damn near every day. Um, some of them are getting pretty hard to find, uh, especially some of the Star Brigade figures. I've got a couple of others up here that we'll take a look at as well to see if they fit in this case. So what I have here is one of the carded uh, Battle Corps uh, Star Brigade figures, Carcass, one of the aliens. And just to verify that the card is the same size as the Battle Corps, we have a... six by yeah it's a six by ten card so this is going to fit exactly the same way i'm sure we get this big heavy duty case here set them inside it fit, snaps together it fits just like it should i mean that's this guy's not moving that's another thing that i really like about it uh when they talk about their card flattening uh feature this definitely flattens any card. You know, if you've got a few little dog ears or if you've got some issues like that, it'll definitely flatten out your card. Up next, we have a uh, Chinese carded dial tone. So the Chinese figures have an odd sized card as well. They are about nine and three, well, nine and a half nine and three quarters actually I think they're about nine and five eighths tall and six inches wide let's see if the Zolo case works as well for these it should as long as the card is wide enough There we go. So this is also an option for your Chinese carded figures. I know that I don't ever see anyone putting these in protective cases unless it's like a solid acrylic case. And those solid acrylic cases can get pretty expensive. Especially if you have a lot of figures that you want to protect. And again, as I said before, these are an acid-free card uh, protector uh, figure case. So the Chinese cards work. Uh, this is a Tiger Force roadblock from Spain, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's from Spain. So we'll check the size on this card. I know it's a little bit different as well. This is a nine and a half inch tall card. Nine and a half inch by six inches. positioned and that is a great fit as well you have plenty of space in here for the figure and accessory bubble and it's gonna flatten out that card it'll 
hide any little imperfections like dog ears or dents and dings around the edges. Um, it's a solid fit. You know, this is not going to move around. I am absolutely thrilled that I found these. And it just, you know, it was just a... Uh, I've, I've actually contacted a couple of different companies about having these made and uh, molds. The thermoform molds are very, very expensive. But uh, Zolo World is, is making these cases that will fit your odd sized cards. Six inches wide by up to, you know, almost 12 inches tall. So this is a. Ninja Force uh, Dado figure. Uh, I don't remember where this one is from. This maybe is this maybe from Spain as well, but it's 1992 Hasbro International. Uh, I think this is Spanish on the back. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not multilingual. Interesting. Made in China. It's either Spanish or Italian. But, again, another perfect fit. And I didn't measure this card. And what we're looking at with this one is a 6 by 9 and 5 eighths. 6 inches by 9 and 5 eighths. And it's a, it's a great fit for this case. Yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled that not only can I use this for my Battle Core carded figures, but I can use this for some of my odd-sized international carded figures. Uh, that's really, really comforting because, I was, you know, some of these cards get banged up and whatnot whenever they're just in storage. Uh, you know, boxes and, and bins or, you know, they're stuck piled in a closet or whatever. Um... Yeah, this guy's got a pretty nasty dog-eared corner here. Yeah, I got him in a trade, as a matter of fact. So, this one, since it's of a little higher value, I'm going to put him in the in this case. He'll be my first uh, figure displayed with this case. Nice and solid, and the dog ear is flattened out. Now, the only thing that I don't like about it is the fact that it looks a little bit hazy here on the front. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, you can you can barely even see it in the uh, in the camera, but in person you can see that there's a little bit of a uh, haze, and I think that's just from the thermoform molding. But I'm definitely going to be buying more of these cases. On the back, they have their website embossed. And, you know, I'll, uh, I'll put the link to their site in the description of the video. And I'll probably just make that a link to this particular product. This is such a great, high-quality protective case. And compared to the, uh, to the acrylic cases, I mean, it's just, you know, they're five bucks. And they have so much versatility for G.I. Joe figures that have a six inch wide card. Uh, I'm, I'm thrilled with this. It would be great if they were, you know, a little bit shorter. But, you know, I, I can't complain. I have zero complaints about this. The Zolo World case. This is the first time that I've actually bought anything from Zolo World. I'll continue using Protec cases for uh, most of my figures that will fit. But these for the battle core for the six by 10 or the uh, six inch wide and odd length cards that go over the nine inch standard card length, uh, you know, we'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll definitely be buying more of these. I do have uh, another thing that I want to show you here real quick. Star Brigade, Eco Warriors, and a few other uh, lines, uh, Sonic Fighters. Um, they started putting them out on a very large card, and most of these figures came with a, quite an assortment of accessories. Uh, and they were on a uh, on a sprue 
just straight out of the mold it looks like they uh they didn't bother to really uh, pop these out or anything now this guy the this this figure has never been opened but the figures have come loose from or not the figures but the missiles have come loose from the sprue uh let's get a measurement on this card i'll see if i can find a zolo world case for this we're looking at a 10 inch tall card by we are like right right at the seven and three quarters mark we're just just i'll show you here we're just like right between those two eighth inch marks but i i'd go ahead and call this seven and three quarters yeah seven and three quarters wide on these so my next uh my next uh search will be a case for figures on the 10 by seven and three quarters cases figures on the on the 10 by seven and three quarters card not case a case for these guys so i'd love to get these guys cased up and not have to uh not have to worry about the dents and beings and then i would probably buy a lot more of them now knowing that i have uh, uh an option to put them in a protective case uh Tell you what, I may actually take a look at uh, some of the comic book two packs from the 25th anniversary series to see about finding a case for those, something that'll fit. Um, and the, you know, there's a, there's a few other GI Joe lines and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video on uh, uh, coming up next on spy troops and the uh, the protective cases that fit spy troops carded figure sets. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, check out other videos. I've got the subscribe button and a uh, link to another video here. It'll probably just be best for viewer, whatever pops up from my, from my channel. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Yo, Joe.